Hello everybody, welcome again to our channel. Uh, the video today is to talk about a uh, control chart, very, very common, very used, uh, very famous inside of this process statistical control. So to perform this, I have here a, a data table uh, with 36 rows, 36 points about something that I measured in my process that was critical to quality. So the, the focus here is to show to you how to perform an IMR chart. So here inside of this analyze quality and process, we have some different places, I would say, where we can perform control charts. So if you are a beginner, if you are starting, if you are getting started with Jump, I strongly recommend you to use this session here in Jump, where you can find every single uh, chart that you can use here uh, with Jump. Why not to use Control Chart Builder? Because if I click, if I click here, if I click here, I have just this uh, little window, very easy to to understand to use. But if you click here in the Control Chart Builder, you will have a very different platform a better one but is it's more complex and you have to have some experience performing control charts uh, before start using this control chart builder so in this video i am gonna show you how to perform a call i am my i and my chart uh, here okay the individual and moving range control chart. So I have my Y response, my response variable here. This is my Y column. I will just put here on my Y, very intuitive. And I will click on OK. The moment that I click on OK, we have our uh, individual control chart and our moving range control chart okay we have all the statistical details that are important to us so that's it our i and mr chart so now how can we perform some customization here what could we do here that would be different so let's suppose that you want to know how is the behavior of the process uh, for each machine? So I have the machine one and machine two could be uh, machines that uh, were made uh, in different countries, different suppliers, different situations, different, uh, for example, before and after a change in our process. So uh, I can divide this control chart uh, into different machines. So to do this, I have two different options. Okay, so let's go there again. Analyze, quality and process, control chart, IMR, control chart. Now I'm gonna put my UI here and I have two different places where I can use to divide this chart into machines. So let's let's do this before the first the first situation here is to put machine on the face the moment that i do this i will have jump will separate my control chart into two machines now we have a phase here all the 18 points for machine one they are here we have a specific control chart for the machine one and another control chart for the machine two. Both of them is uh, inside of the same control chart. So this is our control chart. We have all the statistical details here. 
the lower control limit, the average upper control limit, how the sigma were, was calculated, the subgroup size that was used to, to run the calculations, and uh, where is the machine one and where is the machine two. So we have all the information here. And what is the buy? Quality and process control chart, IMR, now I'm gonna put my Y here and machine I will put here in the buy situation. So I'm gonna uh, have uh, a control chart about my Y, so now buy machine. So as I have two different levels in my call machine, I'm gonna have a control chart for the machine one and another control chart for the machine two. If you see here now, we have two different control charts, one for the control, one for the machine one, and one for the machine number two. So that's it, very simple. There are some things that we could perform here in this control chart, but the idea of this video, a quick video, is to show to you how to perform an individual and moving range chart, one of the most famous control charts in this field of statistical process control. I hope you enjoy it and see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.